How to fix sign in error 214-807-3520 in Windows. In this video I will show you few solution to fix the problem. If your Microsoft work or school account is not properly linked to Windows, authentication issues can occur, leading to the 214-807-3520 error. Removing and re-adding the account can help refresh the connection. Select Access Work or School. Click on your connected account and select Disconnect. Restart your PC. After restarting, Go back to Access Work or School and select Connect to re-add your account. Follow the prompts to complete the process. If that didn't work, Stored credentials in Windows Credential Manager can sometimes become outdated or corrupted, leading to sign-in issues like the 214-807-3520 error. Removing them forces Windows to request fresh authentication details, which can resolve the problem. Locate any entries related to Microsoft 365, OneDrive, or Outlook. Click on each one and select Remove. Restart the application and try signing in again. The Trusted Platform Module, TPM, is responsible for storing encryption keys and authentication data. If it contains outdated or corrupted information, the 214-807-3520 error may appear during sign-in attempts. Resetting TPM can allow authentication to work correctly again. Restart the computer and follow on-screen instructions to complete the process. Try signing into Office again. Windows authentication services rely on several system files to function properly. If these files are not registered correctly, authentication failures like the 214-807-3520 error can occur. Re-registering them ensures they are properly recognized by the system. Some group policies related to credential storage and authentication may prevent Microsoft apps from verifying login attempts correctly. Changing certain settings can resolve the 214-807-3520 error. Set it to send NTLMV2 response only. Click apply and then OK. Restart the computer and check if the error is resolved. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel.